In this video, we'll be looking at the convergence test called the P-series test, as well as a couple of examples. So the P-series test um, tells us that um, if we have something of this particular form, um, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p, that is called a P-series. That series converges when p is greater than 1 and diverges when p is less than or equal to 1. This is, of course, related to the fact that we learned back in um, section 7.8 with improper integrals that the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the p dx converges for p greater than 1 and diverges for p less than or equal to 1. Okay, so this p-series test is stated as its own test, but it really is a result of the um, integral test itself. But this is a really nice um, short, easy test to apply if you can immediately identify something as a p-series. Um, we also want to contrast the, the p-series test here with the geometric series test because those, um, those series can look kind of similar. So look at these, these two examples here. Um, we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the fourth and the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 4 to the n. So notice that this first one here is a p-series. Okay, a p-series has n raised to some number. This second one here is a geometric series. Okay, that's where I have a number raised to the n. So if I wanted to apply the p-series test to this first example, I would say that this series here converges by the p-series test. Oops, p-series test since p here is equal to 4, which is greater than 1. Okay, so whenever we're applying a test, we're going to say the name of the test, we're going to say our conclusion, and then we're going to say why the conditions of the test have been met here. Okay, so I have to, if I'm calling it a p-series, I need to say what that p-value is. In this case, it's 4. And I also need to show that the value that I have is bigger than 1, because our p-series test says that we're going to converge when that p-value is bigger than 1. Okay. Over here, this is a geometric series. Okay, so notice here that um, r would be equal to 1 fourth because this series would be 1 fourth plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 4 cubed, etc. Okay, so it's geometric with a equals 1 fourth and r equals 1 fourth. But um, if we were just interested in convergence or divergence here, I would say that this converges by the geometric series test since the absolute value of r equals 1 fourth is less than 1. Okay, so just reminding you how um, the work goes for applying the geometric series. We're saying the test name, we're saying whether it converges or diverges, and then we're um, stating what our, what our r value is, and that the absolute value of r in this case is in fact smaller than 1, which is the condition required um, for convergence when using the geometric series test. Let me know if you have any questions so far.